This is Code Combat. I'm currently working on Computer Science 2, the Python version of the course. I'm on level 5A, backwards, ambush. Let's see. Goal. Defeat the ogres. Use move XY to patrol the forest. You now have access to the powerful if statements. Check your toolbar in the middle for the programmaticon for extra information. If statements are a fundamental tool for programmers, that's completely true. Create them by typing. Um, okay, so what this if statement does, they don't give us this detail, but enemy, so we create this variable enemy, we say find the nearest enemy. So our if statement then is saying, okay, does enemy exist? Because if our hero looked around and found nothing, then enemy really just equals nothing. It doesn't equal an actual enemy. So that's what if is checking for. If this enemy exists, and then we can have the hero attack that enemy. So let's see here. Oh, it has helpful arrow -y things. All right, let's go ahead and read the comments, right? The hashtags are comments. Those are for programmers. They're skipped over when running code by the computer. Attack the enemy if it exists. There's already an if statement here, so excellent. Let's go ahead and, well, do that. If enemy attack once, and we have to hit our enemies twice because they're ogres, attack, and then pass is a placeholder okay use an if statement to check if an enemy exists okay so we're going to do just like we, they did up here if enemy so we're checking if an enemy exists and this is where we make the enemy variable right there that's when we get to 4250 we look around create this enemy variable if there's an actual enemy we want to attack and attack Okay. Find the nearest enemy. So now they want us to make the, our own variable. So we'll use enemy for our variable. Check if the enemy exists. So if enemy attack the nearest enemy. Okay. Uh, attack and attack. Let's give that a shot. I'm going to go ahead and just hit submit. Make sure I didn't miss anything, and test if it uh, works for us. So each time the hero is checking if an enemy exists. And the reason we're not attacking is, well, sometimes the enemies don't exist. So here is the code that worked for me. Great, let's keep going.